We are indeed, and it's going to be a very, very quick run as well. Ronsky straight into the post office area. We'll get blinded up by the guiding light onto the way around, but Disco's going to just be chilling right now. Great opening frag. Maple's already managed to find one and two, though. Ultimately, it will come back. Clutchy gets the trade, but now they settle. Recovering it. So has to be pulled back as well at the moment. Clutchy comes through ropes where Autumn's holding it. That's a bit of an awkward duel that Clutchy doesn't get a single oh shot God. of Autumn. How is he even just predicting, reacting on Tensai at that location? Absolutely ridiculous. Sicko's is known though from that camera. And you play the two versus one here. You don't give Sicko the duel because he is definitely someone capable of clutching this one out. He's got so much space right now. You know, he's trying to fake some sort of information, trying to pull that rotation over. And Tux will peak in just a second. Does find the timing, but is he going to be ready for that member coming up the lane? Not quite yet. Still just sitting inside the vents. And he's ready to rock, but I think it's going to get spotted out. Text to the close. He's very aggressive there, but they're going to walk out sewers. I think this could be a little bit dicey, and it will. So the aggression does not pay off. Right at the moment as well, all the way through mid, might be able to find something a little bit late. Stars start to be reimbursed for Texa to go in for the retake, come in with the smokes, the gravity wells, all those Nova pulses as well. You know, concuss your opponent, see what's going to happen. Here they start to go down. Clutchy. Clutchy really waiting, as I said, you know, on that flank. He's just trying to really solidify this round for his team. Yeah. And he's being so patient, but Texter, he's onto it. Texter aware, and he switched on. Look at that. That's a massive result here. Tux also finds another. They're moving in. This is a blunder. This all been absolutely falling apart. Tux needs to try and get it done, but with three, that's enough. And that's a round. And Peace, they've got to be hurting on the back of that. Yep, that uh, flank doesn't really do what it was required to. Uh, snake bite that's been used. They found the cam now, and that's information for future rounds as well, knowing where Tux is placing down their utility. There we go. First pick off the back of Clutchy with the Empress. Ten side does spot out one below heaven, but they're going to fall away. They are absolutely getting out of there, and look at all this control. Clutchy could go absolutely clinical here. Takes start, and Tux, oh, Tux trying to rotate around, and he's done it. It's only Autumn here to try and defend this A site on his lonesome. That was timing as well for Tux there. You could see that he was rotating away where Maple is currently and he had his gun out, but then he, I guess, just didn't expect Clutchy to be there and unfortunately gets taken out. Now the A site is right and ready for the members of Peace to go on through. Clutchy going on beyond. There's three looking for the four. Gets dinked up, remember. He finds Frag. That can be healed oh! on through. On for the ace with the gun round to come on through and Clutchy, he's got this go lined up. There it is. The ace to come on through for the first round on the board for Peace. Okay. We can't really say the same for order. They're going to be on to the eco territory in the next. First oh. jolt goes the way of Tensai. On that stage, does have the resurrection. Might need to come into use. But for right now, they are just winning these individual duels. Yeah, no, that's two opening frags just straight up off the back of a gunfight. And uh, utilizing the sage wall to get the extra space, Fight locking fight. off the vents. And Clutch is still king. He wants to keep on going, and that might be his demise a little bit there. Maple with a great frag on this Viper, but now Ronsky can look to pick up the line. Nobody walking into heaven, and it settles in a 4-on-3 retake. Yeah, it's a pretty powerful line from him as well on an operator. He can kind of safeguard that, swing back over towards oh. the mains if he needs to, the timing-wise. Who's oh. going to win it? It's Ronsky on the jiggle out, and now he knows exactly where Maple is, but a 1 versus 3. A little bit too difficult for him. He's not being invested just yet. Sicko does manage to dispatch of Maple, which means that the toxins are all down. That's some of the coverage that Order were relying upon in this round. 30 seconds to go right now, Mitch, and Peace there. Left. Going back towards this B side. Yeah, definitely trying to hit it. The rotation once again. It is going to oh be there. Dear. Autumn will oh pick dear. up another. That's the resurrection. That's a third for Autumn. Huge plays here. Locking it down with the blade still. But now Nation, he will be able to equalize. Drop down to three points of HP though. And now it's Tux to find another 14 seconds. The Seekers will go down, but he has to pick up a rifle. He has to get moving. And immediately now, the Guiding Light's going to get the info, but he's got no time, Dion. This is a round that's already been secured by Order. Tux just has to wait. Play the position. And no time. Dunsky, oh. what a colossal right of Disco, but doesn't say how many people are there. So they're just going to continue this lockdown. But look at this position again. Maple has taken so much control, but Ronsky, he can hit shots. Oh, oh my, my God. word. What a reactional play there. Autumn now up inside heaven and Ronsky, he's going to be moving up inside that nebula. Autumn is going to push up. Has he spotted the wrong way? He's already peeked around to the other side of it, but I think that actually might work out for him. Surely, if he just waits for another second, he's got to peek in. That's a third. Ronsky, this guy is an animal, Dion and Maple. Walking straight into main, Sicko. He's going to take him down. It's all on the top. Purchase.
That shot, he's straight on down here. Will he be ready? Ronsky in below heaven. He will be indeed, but he can't quite find it. Ronsky, let's get another, but this go will be able to equalize. And these trades, they're impeccable right now. Coming out from the side of order. Sicko, he's made some footsteps. Well, he's given some information and order. Will hit another shot. He gets the... Who hits it? Looks like that, say, star down. Potential gravity. Oh, oh, oh my God, there it is. Does he's connect, like does find the shot. And that's Ronsky down. Well, the Cosmic Divide actually comes out vertically for oh, the yeah, side of okay. Peace. The flank out from Texter. This round is pretty much done and dusted, I might say, here. Clutchy one away from the Empress. If you can find a quick headshot, might be able to pop that one out. But he's just been taken out by Autumn. On the spot across finds Nation, who's good for the first frag in the round for Peace. But a one versus five, I mean, what, we've seen Nation come out with a 1v4 to clutch out a game. Can he clutch out this round doing the same? Oh, I'm just thinking back. Refresh is 1v5 to take down oh, Liquid the other day. Bro. But there's one. Oh, oh, yeah. Never mind. Autumn with his confidence. Def to invest him, or they're just feeling they don't yeah. need to at the moment. Bit of a mid crunch once more with the blades come out from Ronsky. Good one, Mitch, but immediately sat down by Disco. Yeah, for sure. That's the jet diff that has been, uh, I guess, apparent on both ends so far. Keep on seeing it. They get trades for trades and. It's so exciting to watch them get those opening picks time and time again on the gen, creating the space for their team. Clutchy, very nice shot there onto Disco, and off the back of that, he's actually going to be able to get the cheeky little Devour, bringing him back on HP as well. Now Clutchy, oh my god, he's moving straight in, look at this. Onto the other side, will Maple be spotted? He will! Clutchy, making things work again here, Dion. Oh, Tex is going to sit 10 side down for now. And of course, with the Sage, that means that there's no real heals to come out for anybody on a piece. Remember, this is a uh, a bit of an eco round to come through from them as well. They didn't go oh, in with clutchy. a lot. That's awkward for Clutchy. There's the Neural Theft, though. Invested in from... Creeping in slowly. Sentinel versus Sentinel. Lockdown goes in. Nation will be spotted out. That's the information gathered now. Sicko has to hit two dirty shots here. And they might actually even just wait for the yep. lockdown. It looks like they will. They've got enough time. And they can really start to creep on in now. Nova Pulse comes through, but nobody will be hit. Sicko just has to hold this line. Duck's going to start oh, clearing, go. gets the info. Will he be able to find the right timing, though? There's one. Oh. Now tagged up through the box. He has to creep around. He has to try and oh, find got it. this line. And he's got the job done. Sicko, a monster. I'll take even this first map in this grand final. Very aggressive walk in. It's ten seconds of just caution. Making sure that they don't give any more frags away. He's up close. He does miss the click. Ooh. The right click doesn't quite connect as well. So that's one big member taken down as Ronsky will be able to get another. This fifth round, Dion, means so much in the weight of the rest of the game. So Disco just waiting inside that nebula. Spike will be planted once more. Tux to join him. Ronsky, he's got all that control. I think it's going to be a big, big amount of playing on Tux here with that Vandal. Great shot from Disco, though. Now starting to bring it back, and there will be the Cabbages coming around the corner. Yep, and they've got all the info from where they do go. The curve in the flash goes in. We've got the double up in toward the pit. Tux finds one. Needs his teammate to be able to assist him here, because Disco's the one with the HP. But with the lesser weapon, they're stacked up like the totem pole. And will it win? The pole oh. will indeed. 7 to 5. Going on through these ropes. Does look like the punch is coming through, and the pinch on towards 10th size. Does actually manage to navigate one onto Autumn. The trade on out Sicko's body revealed. They overlook Watchy, oh. however, and it's oh, crumbling no. right now. At least Sicko right is there for the trade, but the spike needs to get planted. Yeah, There's only 20 seconds to go, and Order are at the disadvantage. Spike planted. Losing Autumn there, a massive, massive disadvantage. And Ronsky firmly on that flank. Here's the tripwire. He's going to have to destroy it and make his way in. Tux just below heaven, holding onto that ghost. Stars go in towards the back. Might be able to get a cheeky little isolation there, but mm. it's just the HP. It's going to be so hard. Ooh. One shot is all it needs to take down two of these members. That's a third for Disco. But Nation, very nasty shot. And Ronsky also. Okay. He is the man to really pick oh. up that pace. But look what's in store for him. One. This gun, not man. Quite two. There it is. And now look at him go. Clutchy, are you oh, joking? Why is he allowed to do that? I don't, even think, I don't even think at this point it's a why is he allowed to do it. It's more of a why his alarm bot will be revealed. As Tux will try to get some information out today. He's caught with Util in possession. That's massive. What a push. 
want to play. And it wasn't some, you know, dumb solo decision or anything either. It was a joint effort. And Clutchy's position, this is nasty. We've got Disco and Autumn inside heaven, but Maple is going to be in for a rude awakening here as Clutchy's found that opening. Ronsky able to get away with murder as well. And Sitko, peace is just all over it right now. They've got full synergy, and that is a flawless here on the bonus. Really making peace just play other positions. And now Nation, will he be ready for this? He'll be able to pick up one, but now the damage gets dealt, and that will be a rifle recovered as well. Moving on out, onto the other side. Tensai able to pick up a good opening here. The Seekers aren't far away. Tensai looking to swing around, but Tux will be able to find him. Clutchy needs to get one, and he will be as well. The Dismiss comes through, but now it's all on Autumn. If any man in the server you wanted in your 1v2 clutch, it would be him, but he's got eight points of HP. Has to try and walk in here up towards heaven. Ronsky ready for it. And that's a 10th round here, picked up by the people. More so towards this mid area, leaning towards the A site. Autumn's now down for the count. Remember, Autumn not running a Sage means that that is solidified. Tensai, though, goes down, which means that the heals are not there. And Disco starting to get a couple of kills in for the first two in the round. Does mean that Order have the player advantage. They also are wanting to go in toward oh. the A site. For his fourth, tapping away. Does have the regrowth available for a later time. But it doesn't look like it's required just yet. I think he's actually found a fourth here. He has. This is the big lifting round that could potentially turn the tide. It's too hard because you look at the economy later that we'll see from Peace. They are absolutely running it in with the money. And Nation now just getting those two frags. That hurts Order's economy. We had players that were down below 500 credits at the start of this Give round. And on the back of the money. Hey. Nation goes down. Disco finds the... Oh, they're looking for this too, but they're so ready for it. There's the individuality though, oh. and it's all found. Those two frags mean everything inside this round. Yep, it's all left on the Disco, Autumn, and Maple. To see what they can try. No, rather, Maple's down. Mean uh, text up. He's going to pick up his stars as well, so they're rotating around, but Sicko's dived in and found another. Disco goes down. Autumn, he's dropped down. Ronsky's ready for it though, and he's found it. That's oh, incredible. Wow. Like, what do you even do? It looks really good from Peace. So this is the explosion now, D, on the moment, the opportunity where Order need to strike and lend the knife. And there is the first blade going the way of Order, but Ronsky does manage to find one. Clutchy will be able to pick up the second as well. Looks like that divide oh. is down for a little while longer. Texter gets one, but Nation good for the trade. Now they have to fall away. So much utility to overwhelm this Texter. Mm. Making his way into heaven, but the bomb, the spike, it's gone the other way. You could see there as well, Tux wanted to try and uh, catch Nation off guard when he was laying down the lockdown. Uh, Nation got his gun out at the, uh, in the nick of time and managed to find that frag. So the lockdown, it goes in. We're in the two versus two as Tex manages to find Ronsky. We still do have that res, and there it is. The Tex, uh, he's waiting for it. He oh, finds no! the first and the second. Now it's all down to Nation, who does get the trade. And it's him and Maple, who, as you be it, on the other side of the map, went to the other side. The time is ticking. We'll hear these footsteps now, looking to get on to make it half, but he's actually found it. Order is still in this game, Dion. Need the lineups to come out from Tux's cages, and Fuzzy might be in for a rude awakening. That is such a risky play, and he's opened up a bag right now. Clutchy and Tensai will go down. Sitko tries to make something happen, and it's all in Aronski. We'll be able to find the opener here. He is the man that everyone will be watching now, seeing what he can pick up. But he's, oh, he's still alive. He's managed to get away with murder there. Did they get spike hit the is down. I think he has, yeah. They're so low. I guess Ronsky, that's offset by the fact that he has this operator, but for a three, uh, two versus three, you know the order are not going to be leaving in their hand. You know they're not going to be leading in the charge to hunt for these frags. They need this round. They want this round. They've spotted Nation. He's dead. Ronsky's hurt on the drop. He misses the first off shot. Now he gets swung. Taken out by Disc. Look out phenomenally for Peace. But the fact that all of order were there, that's the downfall. They find the clutchy and then they break the wall and run in. And Bob's your uncle. That's the round and done. First pick, though, this round, Mitch, goes the way of a piece. You've got no smokes now available for the side of order, as that was Texter down. You can really only rely on Maple, who's already dropped this toxic screen over towards the B site. So whether or not they choose to just charge in with this one on the back of it, they are doing so. Turret reveals that Maple who does get taken down. Judge good for one in the trade order. They're not bowing out without a fight here. Now it's a three on three as well, and you just know Tex has tilted off that peak from Ronsky oh. as well. That's the spike drop. Now the blade storm. Watch this, he says, as he's looking to pick up more. But is it going to be four? Oh, will Tux close this out? It's a one versus three. And he's got his cam up. He's heard it. Zoom call 2021. Oh, Ronsky. Ronsky. He spotted him, and he's found it. 
How does a round go down to a mo explosion comes through? This is going to be hard for, uh, for Peace to get back into it, even though they've got their player advantage, because there goes exactly that. The pit It's going to make a little bit of the vision obscured from so them. You have green. your own Cosmic Divide, dude. It's so much grey. It's so much different colours of grey for me right now. It's not even funny. Maple manages to find the one on Tenacious. There goes that wall. So many things happening already. Oh. Tex has managed to find three. Starting to come over. This might be a little bit of a, uh, a cluster of affairs. The judge is good for one. Texter are intense, like getting stuff done. It's Christmas lights in the kill feed. <gasps> Bronski. He's only got a classic, close. though. There's one potential. Oh. He could have this information. Will Maple walk through? Oh, oh. Got one. Will he be able to pick up any more? He's repositioned. He's got a vandal and he's tapping. Only able to do not even a second. But now moving in from the A ranch, Sikra trying to tap away. Ronsky, he's found another. Maple's he's done so feet. much here. Maple, he's low, exactly. He's jumped up, but he's tried to find him. He's got too hungry. They need to find this defuse now, and Maple, all he needs to do is find the time, find the play. Sikko just needs one he's shot to connect, oh. but Maple has found the clutch with 5 HP to bring us to overtime. He's using his big old noggin, but now as we move into that first round of overtime, Maple, he's had such a bad game, but these last... So at least I guess you could say the piece know that there's no more Toxin Mollies oh. to go out, but Disco catches Clutchy, catches That's the spike. spike as well in the dips of mid. No one's there for a piece at the moment. Two players being main, one player lurking over towards the other side of the map and Texter in that? fight. Doesn't quite catch him. But remember as well that flank starting to come in is the flank with the operator, I still do believe, from Autumn. So whilst it might be coming, it's not the point of attraction right now as Texter does manage to find Dive Alive, Flawless Mitch as well. Now stepped up, propped up to find map number one is going to be Order. But Peace, what do they have planned for this defensive side? Do they play the default? Do they look to lean towards somewhere else? It's got a little bit more skewing over towards that A site for the beginning. It's looking like the clutchy. Doing clutchy things, looking to take control. Disco's ready to try and hold it, but now has to fall away, and he will have the support of Nation. That was such a risky peek from him as well. He knew that he had to do something oh, for no! his team at that time limit to gather the information. Nation is absolutely blindsided by that frag from Texer, and now Order starting to get in toward the site of B. Texas actually permitted the cross by the Toxins to come out from Maple, and this is almost just looking to be a little bit of a retake, but they overlook Clutchy. You don't expect him to walk through the screen there. Ronsky, Ronsky finds one as well. Ronsky going nuclear. Three versus two to the two to... Yep, words. Two, two versus two. Yep, two. yep, yep, yep. Oh, this game. One versus two. All on a sicko. Oh, Is there an opportunity for him to clutch left. out there on 30 seconds? Just has to wait. Here's the audio. He's only got one position that he can lay wait here. And he just has to try and find the timing. He's found it. I think he actually might have got this onto the oh. other side. But now he's been spotted. It's tight. 76 points of HP, and they've managed to find the site. 15 seconds. seconds. All he needs to do is just try and find this. They're going to oh. go for the swing, and they will be able to connect. To ...of the map right now. Disco is going to be taking a duel against Tensai. The gun to be seen, the head to be removed. A little bit of the sky diff very early on. And the TP to be heard too, Mitch. Things going into the B site. And they're trying to fight for it, and Clutchy ultimately will be able to get away with it. Same with Ronsky. He's straight down mid, he's straight down taking control, and Tux will be punished as a result of it not being ready for that cheeky little man. And now Ronsky looking to reposition. He's put himself into a bit of a predicament, though, here. There is the support. He actually gets away with one. So much control. He's heard the footsteps. He knows exactly where the spike is, but mm -hmm. the counter flank as well. Look at where Autumn is, mate. Yep. He's all the way around, but unfortunately, that's the spike drop. It's a one versus three. Now he needs to walk. Clutchy would have heard him. No, not quite. And there's the first. 10 seconds, 10 seconds though, can't win it, can't yep. do it, no, and that's round done. Yep, yeah, real feels bad, man, uh, at the end there as well, you know, kind of locked in between the players on the A site, the cave flank coming through, you couldn't really see any world in which to... ...it out, but doesn't choose to reposition just yet, nothing's still spotted, Autumn firing a couple of warning shots, but Ronsky, he's up close, Texter does get away, fortunately Disco can't quite find the opener, Sicko gets one, and it's an absolute uh, domination here, and once more, Tux... Inside Hookah, mm. long way from home, couple of warning shots fired in. Ronsky just needs to live on, but the money situation right now for uh, for Peace is going to be impeccable. They've not reinvested, and unfortunately now Order, whilst they've got to buy into the next round, it's going to be Tux spotted, and that's, uh, was that back-to-back -back flawless form? They're ready to knife it up towards A in just a second, but there's the opening pick, Maple. We'll be able to find that one. I still cannot believe that there's been no movement inside I know. Ruka. Clutchy's found another, and he will oh. be able to pick up a second. Surely this is where it starts to change around. Uh, now now Texter goes. There's one, but he misses oh. it, and Rusty, <laughs> he can find it. How has that occurred? 
Oh, another rotation comes through, and Oski's going to try and lock this down. Man, I don't even know what's happening in this round. It's one of those things where, unfortunately, for Crash, it's who the heck do I look at? Who's going to be finding the action? And for Clutchy to find the two in the beginning, then for Texas to shine on through. Clutchy now hears the footsteps. Auto manages to find the frag. But with 30 seconds to go, does he just TP and go back towards the B side? It's real. Oh, he's giving it to him. Oh, what an awkward oh, spray. At least geez. Bronsky can catch it. But by word, what what just a, a shambles filled round? As I said, you put apple bob game, right? You're putting your head in toward the water, trying to find an apple. And it's which apple are you trying to find? Your green apple or your red apple? Which one are you liking? Very nicely done from text up. Goes into the Astro form, looking to get those stars down. Nation doesn't want to peek. And unfortunately, it's not going to pay off nicely there for text. Ooh. Nation still inside. And Ronsky doing Ronsky things, as per usual. Gets the open happening right now. Yeah, you're exactly right. There's so many things that needs to happen. Tensite can't quite connect and clutches out the site. He is going to have a very, very difficult task here, but he picks up one. Good for the trade on the Tuxus now, four on four. Four on four, back yet to go down at the moment. And as it does start to get planted, you've still got this pit activated up in toward the Hookah position. It's going to be a little bit of a multi-pronged approach back for the members on a piece for this reset. But look at that, the pit actually to come out this time from the side of order in Tux. It's going to be very vision blocking. First real chance that we've seen so far from Order. Ronsky trying to make things happen. Just spotting around inside the green goop. Seeing what he can spot. And tucked straight into the middle. The oh. judge. Oh my word. How's he turned around that one? Disco. Locking it down from the cubby. We'll be able to pick up one. But the guiding light. It can't quite come out. But look at Autumn. He's positioning. A 1v3. The demon has awakened. And it's now onto the jet diff. Who can get it done? There's just no time. Ronsky's on top. But he still can't get the clutch out. And Autumn has done the job again. And finally we see a round on the board here for order. That very aggressive position. They've managed to pull it down. Hello. That's a leg shot. He's caught off. That is so lucky. Tex are getting away with everything there inside the Astro Form. But now the Hunter's Fury has spotted out Tux. But Nation, he's up too close. He's given it away. Clutchy now onto the other side in the showers. We'll be able to isolate Disco and find the frag. But now Tensai trying to run in. That's going to be the snake bite going down and the rotation to come through. But Tensai, he's found order. It's back to a three on three behind this toxic wall. He's got his recon bolts as well to go out where required. They start to line up. Now it's for Tensai to line them up. It's only actually good for one, but the trades are there. And now in this one versus two for Tux, he can retrieve the spike. Tagged out by the drone. There's no way he's getting away with this one. At least he gets their quick headshots. The recon dart. It's lobbing on through the destruction on towards that one. But what does he even do? Because look what this flank is starting to happen from one player CT. Clutch is still in showers. Plant goes through, Mitch. He gives himself the opportunity, oh. but unfortunately... Say it. Sicko. Oh, they, the timing. Autumn was looking exactly for it. One. Yep, clean as you like again. He didn't overextend. He had a teammate there with him to trade, and this is the piece that you were looking to see, right? This is the piece you want to see over in NA. Running out onto the site now, Tensite. Still holding that position inside this hookah. Autumn, looking around. That's a pivotal round for Autumn right now. They need to make sure that they are gathering this one with this two-player deficit. Clutchy manages to find Disco over the top, I do believe, of the mid-tube. Text up, manages to find Ronski, and now Autumn as well, activating. We they need to go absolutely brutal here. They've even got ultimates if they want to come on through. I believe Tex is getting out that Cosmic Divider. Now it's down to Sicko. He's been spotted. The drop on down, and finally Order. They hold on in that three versus five, Mitch. They gather. Make sure they pop on at the right time, however, because otherwise they could find the kill, and... It could have been, it could have been uh, really rough. Tux does indeed go down in the end. Koronsky to jump back up onto the truck, but Order, they are holding W now, essentially, in toward this site to see what space they can provide to get that plant down. Disco manages to find Ronsky, and here we go, into the post plant. Or maybe not. Picks up another. Yeah, Nation also very low. Texta able to find it. Clutchy gets another. Clutchy gets another. He will be taken down. Over towards the CT area. Oh, he's going oh, to go for the jewel. Him. Yeah. Oh, will he tuck? Oh, it's going to be hard no matter what. Sicko, yeah, you can't make so any noise. Tight. You'd favor Sicko here as well. And he look at that. The there it is. Oh. As Ronsky does not walk away with an opening frag, that he is keen to go ahead for another. And he's actually swapped over to the judge here. They're not going to be expecting gonna... this. Where's no one? way. Oh. But look at that, man. The flash goes in and Tensai manages to find two. Sicko to find Autumn. And now it's on to Maple to charge in with the Spectre. I can't get it situated. Moments of brilliance, but again, it's a very momentum-driven piece. We do have that another half opportunity, but that's the opening pick from Clutchy that is necessary. They found it. They've broken the drone, and now Autumn, he's been spotted as well. Tensai picks up another, and look at Sicko. He wants to get straight in there. 
Disco looking to potentially rotate out. That's the guiding light destroyed as well. I was getting the info. Disco trying to walk oh, in, but there's a spray and spray. Oh my god, sicko! Found this morning. This is absolutely ridiculous with just all of the plans that they're going in together. The gusto a little bit later on, but you know, order or a team that kind of do the same thing where required. What oh, a shot from Ronsky! Oh, oh, oh. That is ridiculous. What do you even do? Yeah, nothing. You can't. Disco has just been sent to the nether. As Ronsky obviously taken so low, and now there's an opportunity for Autumn, but Tensite will be able to collect onto the shot. Maple, big task here to try and lock it down. Now the Guiding Light gathers the information. Ronsky goes through, and that's the punishment. That's the advantage that they need to see come back, but so much damage has been dealt. Nation gets taken low, but Tux will be able to equalize, and now they've rotated. They have to get through B, but already on the flank will be text up. Yeah, and Tux does have his utility set up over to this B side as well. The wall and the poison orb, which I think is still at the front of Hookah. So we'll have to see what Tenso's going to do here. 15 HP, he gets flashed off, and he's only good for, well, the death, but at least he bought time in garden. He's being spotted out. But look at that reveal both of the players seen. Here's that wall I said from Tux on towards the tap on the D. Fuse, Maple dead for the count, and now Tux was sticking it, but he can't do so, unfortunately. Yep, we got more maps to be played throughout the day as well. And as I said, you know, they can rely upon Breeze potentially a little bit later on. It's a map that they've been untouched on. Right now, oh, Disco is untouched. Two quick little digs to come on through from the this Sheriff. It's high noon somewhere in the world. Eight minutes ago, though. Ronsky will manage to take out Disco. So Peace are back with the player advantage. But Texta, he's looking to charge straight through. See you later, Tensai. But now Thorn and Maple who can't quite situate it onto Ronsky. So there's the 12th toward this B site to get that plant down with 20 seconds to go. There's the opening Fight shot. Down, we do see one come out. Tux gets the dink, but he's still so low. 15 seconds. We'll be able to find it. Tux has done so much work here, but look at Sicko parking himself just Ooh. below. Tux has done so much, Dion. Should have never been allowed to get away with this. Five versus two, Mitch. Gets planted. This is all she wrote. Yeah, unless five we see alive, Dion. another five versus two to come through. It's Autumn and Tux situated on the other sides of this retake right now. Sicko down first means that the toxins are no longer here, but that dart to reveal a bunch of information. Tux now starting to come on through for two. This is where things get a little bit more difficult for the side in peace. The pit could come through, and then they could look to get on the, the defuse, but the flank is set exactly as you say at the pit. Yeah, Hutchie, oh he's taken oh out. Oh my god! Out on a with oh a my god! Does it work? A two versus five order have gotten away with murder. Absolute murder over towards this A site. Early Hunter's Fury rips off the bat for Clutchy. Getting a tag on Texter and Texter is gone. Is. Must have been in his astral form or something. They both dash into it. Autumn just to win the duel and the shock starts through. We'll get a little licking of damage onto Tensai, but nothing too devastating. Tensai getting that good trade onto Autumn. Very well needed. Maple can spot away from the guiding light. Equalizes the scoreline again. Three on three. Disco, great shot. Will he be able to connect with another? No, Sicko. Here's the man that means business right now. And they're swinging. They're trying Ooh, to connect with this one. And Maple, he's dropped another. You're exactly right. But inside the U-Haul, now just shouldering Clutchy. He's walking up close and personal. Maple, you want to jump at me, brother? I'm going to walk on straight in. And I'm going to find the... He knows exactly where he is now in Clutchy. Oh, the timing. He's in. Oh, he's seen him. But he's been spotted. Has to go for the jewel oh. now. And Tux has found it. Keep the space for a little while longer. Inside Hookah. That's the shot out. And now Sicko. Going to get that spike planted. Autumn does have the blade storm out. Pushing on in. Tries to spot the information. He's actually prepped out, but not quite. Won't be able to do it. But now it's Texter. He's spotted two here. The equalizer already starts to come through. But the uh, unfortunately, the Viper's bit goes down. And it's all in a disco. He's only got a Guardian and a couple of hopes and dreams involved. Spotting around to the side. Does hit one. <gasps> and it's inside it. the tube. He can tap it. He can hold this. They can look for the info. They're going to run on through. Oh, They're going to run on through. It's again. Disco. He has held it down. He has locked his position, and he is alpha as anything, as we see a sixth round come out for order. Mitch! Hit all those angles. He's done the right thing once more. What's the money looking like for Peace? Still in with the purchase, still in with a lot of abilities. I'm counting that Sicko only has one. Close and personal, the Hunter's Fury won't quite connect. It'll go on to the other side. That's the opening that Ronsky needs. Snake fight over the top. He's going to rotate as well. Autumn's position is going to be critical here. All the sound, all the audio now as they run on into Hookah and Autumn is full focus onto that position. Oh, flash. Cloud burst. Oh, there it is. That's the shot he needs and Ronsky goes down. The demon has been 
punished. And Autumn is going to get smoked out as well. So he's got to potentially rely on Maple coming around from the elbow as the plant starts to go down. It's going to be in amongst the tube as well on this side. So this is going to be a really confusing retake you would expect to come through. Smokes fade, cloud bursts are down. Nation manages to find Maple left, right, center kills. It's order a player disadvantage as the pit comes out as well. It's gonna make things even more difficult. It's Texter and Tux, however. The big duo that's lasted the ages looking to come in, and I don't know if it's gonna happen. Texter one versus three here. Maybe we're burning that paragraph, burning the book. It's ha yeah, information gathered. Autumn is there to kind of hold on with him. They're doubled up at the moment, but look at this from Texas. The IGL walking all the way down, and don't think he's actually going to be spotted either. Ronsky gets the information, but cannot quite connect with the shot, and now Sicko will get the trade. So that's an early advantage going the way of peace. Yeah. Sicko. Ooh. Getting out of there. Yeah, but look at this Disco. He's already on the plat waiting for a camera as well. To assist from a distance is going to be a tux. But the flames out, the hot hands, they get in front of it. Damage on a Disco. The curveball by enough time. Obscure the vision. Block it on out. It's the player advantage of the flank to come out eventually from Autumn here. But on 55 points of HP, he needs these headshots to come out from the Sheriff and the timing. He might just overlook the player hiding in the corner on the left of him. And that's going to be Sicko no. as well. Rough shots on that straight and see. Information gathered by Tux, now has the judge, the wall will go down, so that'll isolate a lot of positioning. But now they can get the plant for long, no nice and deep. No spam. No spam. Just trying to take that further position. That's the weaponry on the classics, of course. No spam available. Great shock dart to go in. The neutralization as well uh -oh. from the null or zero point. Uh-oh! It's happening. There's no weapons here for order. Do they have any blockage on toward the spikes to try and get on to defuse it? Yes, there's a star available to come out from Texter. Do believe they're going to be going straight on towards the defuse, but he's been pinged and that's rough. They can't do it at the moment. That nebula is eventually going to fade and there's going to be no time to just stick out this defuse. A reveal as well would be absolutely huge. It's going to be hard to hit. The charge out. Sicko lines up too, but another smoke. Oh, Texter, he's got it. He's got it. This man is a monster, right? Be that Aileen. Finally, we see a full buy. Autumn taking that control. This time it's the Jet Diff going his way. Doesn't want to overstep either. Hasn't needed to do anything really further to get out of it. Just a nice clean shot. The cloud burst to get out. Look at Creeping this. around to the other side. Yeah, there it oh, is. Use a bit of an updraft because the Tailwind's not available. And maybe even an op. Definitely ways that Peace can go about it in the next round, but yeah, they are they are taking the knee here, Mitch. So the spec up is just going to be Wolf on the classic, so he'll be requiring gun a little bit later on. And it's Fury does manage to find out Texter gets the tag, and unfortunately for Ronsky, does get the blaze, but he goes down. Now Tuck's going massive. That's going to be the neural theft to come out as well. Information should be gathered in just a second. Completely blind. Disco gets another, but of course that is in the run it back, meaning that he'll come back into the server. Tuck's looking to make it three, but he won't quite be able to do it. It's all of a sudden down onto Disco. And of course, his partner in crime, Autumn. Who's blanking? Sicko, 16 HP. He's locked in toward the site right now as well with Disco up at the heavens and with Autumn creeping down from short. He'd almost need to run through CT to escape from this, contemplating using the drone. Well, it's going to get the better of him in the end. Will Peace look to change this up? They've looked a bit more hesitant than usual. Oh, yep, yep, that's a kill. Here's Izulaka from Autumn back onto the purchase C because last round, Peace went to the A site. Autumn's position on top wasn't known, uh, but he is taken down by a sharp shot of Ronsky. A little bit of left, right. Good night. Throughout the rest of the map, as we've got some kills being calculated in. No resurrection quite yet available for Nation. Uh, for Clutchy, rather. One away now. So a plant. Or gathering the orb would guarantee it. Oh, he's gone in. Mm. Oh, not going to fake out Maple though. Does reposition on towards the site, and completely blind nation will mm -hmm. be able to collect. It's also uh, lots of chaos in this round. Clutchy jumping up there was uh, solidified as well because of Texas' position pushing through the garage. So they knew he hadn't escaped. They knew he jumped up. That was the call to disco. So very quick on the comms for order. So Texter looking to swing, just holding that off angle will be punished though. Nation yeah, gets the job done. Tux, he needs Ooh. to line him up. But Nation, He's put the here we go. A very, very big round. You're exactly right. Straight. That's an command now. Looking to get on Ooh. his way. 
Ronsky, very good opening there onto Texter, and they are charging straight through towards this site. Autumn has the potential to lock it down, though. That will be the opening. Now they continue to run on in. The slow orb is going to make it challenging, is going to make it a little bit difficult, but he hits another, and he's got the tailwind oh, as well. Oh. Does narrowly miss the shot. There's the resurrection, and who peeks around now? Narrowly missing the shot, but now Tux is here, and Nation has to get into the astral form. So much carnage to come out right now. The Trailblazer does spot out some information, but Tux, he's going to be caught by Sicko Disco. Good for the trade as well. Everything's happening. Everyone's trading. And now he makes his way out. Curveball does gather some info, but Disco picks up another. Oh, the clutch in the 1v1. But it is Disco, the man who is hot. And to close out a fifth round here for order. Man, how many kills were going from each team? One by one by one. It was all the way down sewers. I don't know if they're going to be ready for that one. But Texter certainly starting to spot out for it. Ronsky's just going to creep into this corner. He can make big plays off the back of it, but he wants to go for oh, something. No so text. Dirty. Can't find the timing, but he goes for the blades, and it will be punished. Clutchy started stepping out, trying to down Texter there, but the cabbages. They will be thrown away. Clutchy already in towards this CT position. The information Ooh. will be gathered. Tux able to find him. Now back to a three on three here. Dion Trailblazer goes through and information gathered as well. The cheeky little gravity well on the top of the side. It's three on three. Oh, it's going to be tough. Yeah, it was really interesting from Clutchy to push all the way through CT. Maple had all the information there. Clutchy, you know, kind of on an island with no vote. Couldn't rely on his teammates. I was going to say the flash drive did go up, but didn't really connect on oh, anything. And you're exactly right. Curveball will be available. Tux forcing his way through, getting another in the round. But Tensai tries to find something, Ooh. and it's going to be locked down by Disco. The man is on a mission. He has clutched out several right now and sitting atop of the server, 11 to 5. I'm playing this round to an actual round victory. Ronsky straight onto the top of the site, but he's been punished this time round. That's going to be the Hunter's Fury to come through. Texter! Texter! Oh my god! A big old 4K, and it is just an eco. <laughs> but they line up so cleanly, and the only way he's gone down is to this Hunter's Fury. Tapping him away. Oh, yep, and, oh my god, Disco punishing. These reap up from Ronsky. Looking to spot out Maple as early as possible. There will be that contestion in just a second. There it is. Opening is found. And Ronsky does start to make his way in. Still holding C, they've tried to pull the rotation, Tux gets info, and that's going to be the old Null command. Let's see what they've got. Yeah, well, Tux and Disco locking it down right now. They don't oh! even phase him yet. Yeah, Tensei can see exactly where they are, but uh, yep, Give him the that, ace. That, that is just the way you go at it. Tux on for the ace, as you say, it's Ronsky. If there's anyone to kind of take it away from you, it might be this guy, Sinister on the jet. Things start to slow down, Cosmic Divide eventually will fade. And Tux Go is lining Tux. it up. Yep, there it is. Brilliant. Well deserved, well earned, and a very, very quick bit of pacing here. Maple Ooh. spotted out, but will be able to collect. And now the hot hands to defend. Maple will go down, but now they've lined them up. Texter, Disco. Oh my God! Oh, Clean as shot. anything. And now it's all on a sicko, and he's going to be taken down by Autumn. So that will be the half done and dusted. And Dion, I feel like it's a comparing and is he got the right weapon to Ooh. do it? But Autumn is just so quick, so crispy. Main factor is, though, here is look at Ronsky's position. He is around, but he does get one. Hits the second, but will be traded out. Autumn's already picked up three, but Sicko's done work. And Clutchy to close it. It might be the way to lead in the charge. You can follow in the Seekers if they do want to as well. But for right now, the Guiding Light is doing a little bit of guiding, but not for the side of order. Clutchy is working better for him as he's just pushed down. Blind it off this time. Safeguarded? No. Teammate blunders on with the op. And the advantage is actually here for order now. Only losing one into Texta. The Hunter Fury is being oh, pulled out. Huge. This is just absolutely chaotic. The damage just doesn't get the job done. Nor can Clutchy or Disco. There's. Oh, no way! Oh. No oh. way! Clutchy, what a Chad moment! Just leaps and bounds into the pit. He does get the info, but now Clutchy's moving up. He's been spotted. Maple, he's gonna go down oh here. God, Clutchy, massive. Clutchy! Oh my and the heel. word, Dion! This is four! This is the heel, and it's the 1v1. He can wait. He can potentially fake the res. How does he approach this? Oh, that is he phenomenal! And he's found it! And that is an immaculate round from Clutchy. Take a bow, because you have found seven for your team, and you have thrown the bucket at order. That is not just an ace to come through from Clutchy. Look to uh, fall on back. Nothing spotted off the back of that. Sicko getting activated again, though. The man's 20 and 12 right now. Sitting atop of that scoreboard. Disco and Tux not far behind. The offensive cypher so hard to play. 
Bronski, couple more warning shots. They've pulled away so much information, but look at this. Tux, he's got the info off the back of the camera. He can make every call under the sun right now, and there's the frag. Autumn slowly creeping up with the rest of his team taking point, and Tux has just pulled away everyone in the process. Bronski is close, but sight will be taken. Spike will go down. And the explosion will be in the form of a 4v4 on this eight side. Ooh. And Tux is you, caught. You would not expect Tensai there whatsoever at that point. Sicko is going to get revived as well. So it's all five alive for the retake. You can pop if you wanted to here. You know, command to make sure there's no abilities. It's actually going to come there out. It so is. it's dry jewels here, essentially, to come through from the side of order. Great allocation from Tensai. But here we go. Absolutely Disco. coming out. Colossal to hold on. Autumn closes it on. Everyone who is not watching is missing out. This yep. is incredible. And Disco, oh. he's found an opener straight onto Ronsky. Moving love it. the pace. The run it back. Oh. Not quite. Absolutely love it as well. Following in the cabbages with the run it back just to make sure you're safe if you do lose your life. A little bit unfortunate for Maple as he is taken out. His heel's gone. Oh, misfortune in the timing as well for Clutchy. That's a little bit hard done by for him. But for Order, they are really running into this round. They're really trying to see what they can do. A little bit of a late lurk from Tux as well. But the same can be said for Tensai. Not expected straight down through towards mid. Cosmic divides up, Mitch. Oh, Texter. Pushing his Nebula, unfortunately, doesn't quite think that it will work out for him. Onto the other side, Autumn not quite spotted, but now the Shock Darts go through. Tux picks up one, and Autumn on the other side of the Nebula. There we go, moving up all on the Tensai here. Does have the Flash Drive available, but that divide is going to go down. He taps, will have another on the reversal. But how's the money? Is it busted? <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a tough uh... one for Peace. Peace are hoping that they can print some money Thank off you. the trees around this. Right off the beginning of the round. Hunter's Fury's out. And the Spectre's oh, probably not the gun ski. you want to duel that far. Playing with fire quite literally. The hot hands now to come out from Disco. The heal will be there. Information gathered. What a recon bolt from old mate Sicko there. And Clutchy with that. Oh, Operator. Narrowly misses. Disco's got away with murder now. Tensai caught off. Maple going to be able to find it as well as Tux now takes point. CT will be tripwired off. And this is the final moment, Dion. Sicko and Clutchy have had a pull off the spike and try to go for a defuse. Texas has got stars. That is a brilliant shot from Tux. I mean, you kind of giving your big old head a, uh, an opportunity to be shot when you're jumping there like is. that. There's the op, but Sicko can't get the next, and it's 13 to 8. Over towards order, which means the freeze is going to be around. Monsky spots out one, gets that early info. Autumn has to tail in the way, and that's the info gathered. Clutchy knows that Texter likes a good lurk. Ronsky getting a little bit too overzealous there, though. So it's going to be a bit of a stalemate so far. Four to four as this spike will be planted. Good damage from the shock darts, though. Onto that site. That's going to hurt. Pep it away. Tensai trying to come around on this flank, but looks like they're ready in lockdown. And there's no heals to come out as well from uh, from Disco on the uh, sky. So damage delivered is damage done. Nice little flash drive to come in as well from Tensai. His position's known. Two seconds away from the blade. Might want to try and use that instead of taking this duel. Make sure that they're a little bit more vulnerable. As oh. Maple does dispatch of him. The dark goes on through. Doesn't get a reveal at the moment. Order holding true on amongst this site. Nation good for one. Remember, Spike Denial is all we need to see from Order for it to explode. And looks like they might be able to do so here as Disco finds the last two kills. Very different and doesn't get hold or held to the normal rules that the remaining or the other five maps do. Yeah. If it works, it doesn't I, mean it was good. It is yeah, basically well, the argument yeah. I'm trying to put. <laughs> Texta does start things off, however, by finding Nation, and Sicko can look to steer things in the way of peace if possible, though trains are out. An order still holding an event. It is only that one member. Autumn sitting at the back. Tensai is going to be spotted out. That's the B site taken for free. And thank left. God this round is not paying off for peace. Hey, hey, anything you can do, I can do better. My marker <laughs> yeah. is better than yours to come through from Autumn. And now the flank in Texas. It's red like a book. Ronsky shuts that one down. Still, do they just go for this retake? They've invested in it. Kind of, kind of have to here because of that investment. Tuck's very close. It does get shut down. The marshals are happening, Hang and it on. might it might work, but but Please Sicko doesn't no. have a marshal, so it's okay. True. He actually did get one of those frags as well, but it's such an awkward position. I think he's made too many sounds, oh. and Maple will lock it down. Usual this time. He's sitting back, holding around his B site. Texta looking to get info, but Clutchy, Clutchy. Oh my oh word! My word. Get the ace, please. Not quite. Imagine. Tuck trades out, but. 
Already the amount of control that Clutchy's been able to find just on his lone Zabronski up top. Clutchy! My Seeker's in for the defenders in the piece. You've got the drone out through main of A as well. Clutchy really trying to push in and lead in the issue, but the tag <laughs> certainly doesn't help him. Blades popped and, well, this is where Order looks to roll over this site. The tag out, however, Nation has to try and get out of dodge. Needs some assistance. He's playing this really cleanly as well, just kind of knifing his way around this position. Sicko's managed to pick up another as well. Tucks all the way out, but he spots out the head. Dinks Ooh. it back, actually. Nation is doing really well here. Jumps up, tries to get the shot, but two bullets has to reload. Holds his head down, and Ronsky will pick up Texter. The defense is going down, and he's still alive. Exactly. Disco gets one. Tucks finds another, but one. he's literally... One. Remember, 14 seconds. Ronsky watching that side information. <gasps> Dinks up. Can collect the spike, Dion. But one shot from Ronsky. Him, Ethel here. Can't get baited out by Texter. Will he go past? Seekers go up and Texter's ready. Oh, well timing. played, man. This guy is impeccable. Good exactly shot from Sicko, though. And now the uh, neural theft comes out. Hmm. Look at the uh, the quick decision split, though, from Sicko. When the metal doors are opening and you know Texter's up in the tube, to quickly look yeah, over toward the site, hard. find that frag. And he still lives to tell the tale. Absolutely brilliant to come out from him. And now the blades of Ronsky are doing damage. Right click. We are not happy with that one. Magnet Brain says no. Church of Less Click is here to stay and return. It's on Tux now in the one versus two. And he had the choice to shoot at that reveal or not. He's chosen the latter. The creep in. There's the frag. Ronsky's low in the Toxins. Down to one. And Tux is just playing outside, playing inside. Knows where the spike is as well. But Ronsky, will he hold it? He has to stick it essentially here. And Tux will win the fight. Win the duel. The, yeah. the spike is over at the bridge, which is really ambitious of Tux. I actually wonder if he knows he has the spike in possession because he has to get back to the site somehow. And I guess with the frags that are coming through from Pace, it's looking a little bit more awkward. Maybe he wants to just run a marathon over towards the B site. He's nowhere near his teammate in Maple in the middle of the site. Catches some info on a 10 site. Catch the round. Toxic screen goes down. Information gathered by Clutch. He does have the guiding light and the regrowth available. Hmm. Problem being is uh, you would kind of want a Trailblazer here, get toward the half wall, look to see what you can clear on out if you're just uh, guessing that they're not in toward the CT cave as well. So a tap on toward the defuse is going to bring Tux out. The reveal actually of that bolt is... He's, he's holding it. it. He's holding it. The bolt. The bolt. No way. Didn't know. They have no idea. They destroyed the bolt. It missed. And oh my word. Face of one around that then can really get a good grip on their economy so far. How good as well. Magnet Brain actually ah. in the chat saying it. <laughs> Firm agree. Sicko narrowly missing the secondary shot. There's been so much happening uh -oh. in this round uh -oh. already. Clutchy is right back in next. So Texter has so much control, but I think they're mm. definitely aware of his position to a degree. Yeah, the problem is how much time do you waste looking out for him right now? And the answer is uh, no more as Tensai has killed him from amongst the rope. Could throw in the blade as well. That's going to get a reveal on towards Tux. They know he's now suppressed at 8 seconds, which means no pop on towards the spike. If there was an orb, no mollies can be utilized. And with Disco revealing that he has a Guardian, it makes things more awkward. But the team flash as the pit is not going to be pulled out. Tux going absolutely in with every bit of his utility. He gets tagged up by the Shocky, revealed by the Dart, actually manages oh to... Oh my... Dodge it, and yeah, now this round is done. They can't So it. much on green! The spike. Wait. No, there's no time. No time, time no time, no time, okay. Challenging two lockdown given the size of the map, but oh. that's exactly why he picked up the Odin Dion. Yeah. Made you eat your oh. words. Nation gets one, and Disco's actually traded it out quite nicely. Sicko, good for one back, but he's oh, stuck down. Does no. actually find another, and could Sicko get three? He will. And I don't know if he spotted out Clutchy, but all the time. Walk. There's the info. Tensai spotted him. Some good damage now being dealt here on this defense. They sight their sights over towards B. Great shot from Ronsky, who has actually admittedly fives if they won this series, Dion. Too many. Too many. But it might not be coming into the play this time when the spike goes down over towards the elbow. And I don't actually think that's where the smoke... Oh, maybe that was where he wanted it. Fake dash up. See if he can steer a little bit of the vision away from where the peace members are looking for Maple to creep on up. But it's not allowed. Autumn's good for one, but Peace, they are... Being really good at the game is you've got to think you're really good at the game. <laughs> that backs it up. That makes it much, much easier. Oh. Flash drive over the top. It's going to start the chaos now. Tensai gets one, but Disco clean. Does get traded. Sicko, very oh, good spike. result, but now he's... You've got, uh, you know, Sicko there as well. They can't really do anything. All right, Ronsky's just found one and a half kills through that. They have to um, almost jump across, get the... No. Uh, order, what are you just doing? Oh, no, no, no. That's unlucky. Yeah, that's rough. 
Okay, a little bit of the uh, slow creep up. Tucks in front of the Toxie screen, however. Manages to find Tensai. Info into Nation as well. Chooses not to throw a bit of poison over towards his location. And as the metal doors open up, it's a couple of kills. Going to both squads. Maple able to offset it, however, for order. And now it is only Sicko. The door opened Ooh. again. But now, I mean, they know where he is. And Tex is going in for the hunt. Ambitious, because look how low Maple is. Yeah, that ain't um, if Maple potentially stepped forward. Sicko might have got aggressive. Try and do something. Order? Oh. No, it's all right. It's mm. yeah. no. Open it no, goes to Ronsky. Open it goes to him, and this is the B side essentially with nobody home. Oh. Now Maple is down as well. Ronsky's uh, doing Ronsky things. Spike Lurk cut off from Texter by Nation. Autumn stuck inside that mid window. Looks like Ronsky is going to push and see if he can find something around. But again, it is only just that eco. Sicko walking on up. Ronsky definitely going to be able to find Autumn here, I would say. No, narrowly not. Does tag him. But now the spice comes in. Sicko will find him. And a shot for side of the fair. And we've absolutely not had that happen. Oh, Ronsky, no! It could be a 2-2, but now's the side explosion comes through. What's on order? The utility here. He has to make sure he's not caught out and he's in for the fight. There goes the Trailblazer. He's spotted out and they don't line up for him as Nation, Nation claims gets two. two. And that's the site now essentially open, and Autumn manages to find Sicko. Don't know, that was really... Deliver that one out, but hey, in on the retake now. Order, they're going to run it in. Regrowth, 10 site, unfortunately doesn't get enough off the back of it. Order, slowly creeping their way in. That snake bite is going to keep him at bay, but Tuck's already walking on in now. Autumn straight through. We do have 10 side a little bit deeper, but if Tuck's can start to create this space, there we go. The gap has been closed. Now Nation up close, but that's the flash drive that's made. You've got a competitor. <laughs> it's just in a different FPS title. 21 and 11 on this over map point, Dion. Because it could be the finale. Maple, Hunter's Fury goes out, but Tucks, despite burning that Viper's pit, he will go down. Maple, also tagged up by that suppression. It's going to be tough. There's utility everywhere, oh, and it looks word. like Maple's going to be peppered down. It's going to be such a tough retake here. Order need to do everything, and they've lost Maple in the process. Five on three. Five on three, indeed. Techstar with that neural theft, not really going to do too much unless he gets that kill first and then has some info as the flash comes on through. It's kills coming away and it's Autumn with 30 HP. Ladies and gentlemen, folks, I think we're going to map number five. I think this is going the full distance in this grand final. And Mitch, what a way as well. Now look, they're not sold. They're not sold at all. That's going to be the guiding light out, the information given. Disco's being tagged up, Ooh. but he actually, was that a double dink? I think it was. Yeah, it was. Look at that, Frenzy, be the distractor, right Autumn to start off, text to time in, Disco found one as well, and there you do, as clean as you do like it at the end. She can do so much, and as I said, that orb, ultimate six points. Ronski already up on the site, but he's done a Ronski, hasn't one checked the corner. <laughs> and uh, that is way, way, way too clean for order here. Is this he's, the one side? Mm, His well, timing could be everything. One. It's a retake setup from Order. They've gotten out of the side as well from the sheer amount of numbers that uh, Peace have here. They lose their first player. Now it's on to Texas to try and do something. As the fragment comes in, it will land, but only after he's dispatched of its owner. It's Order be shut. Clutchy to go in through. A little bit <laughs> ambitious from him, not gonna lie. But now this is where Order look to just clean it up instrumentally. So, because Nation, he doesn't have the instruments for this round to clutch it out. He doesn't have a head anymore. Clutchy going back to doing clutch stored, right? <laughs> yeah, we're nice and clean, doing bits here. Ronsky up real close to personal, and uh, he's been punished. Fenside does manage to at least find the trade onto Disco. Nothing spotted by Maple. Now they're going to really be picking up the pace towards this site. Bell Command mm. goes out, and Tex is the only man to defend here so far. Yeah, he's here with Maple, however, Maple in amongst the smoke, when will he choose to go through it? You can always see the location of where the Null Command is pulsing from, but Tensai, good for one, take it on out in the tree. They look for some damage to the economy of peace, because you know that ought to have money, peace don't. You remember the round where it was a 2v4 and... No, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, look, to be honest with you, maybe? There's one. There is one indeed. Now Tux is going to start to come up. Beautiful flash. He's got the timing, he goes Clear close, oh. but no, it doesn't quite get cleared. This should be now the round going the way of Peace. Mm -hmm. Finally a position on the board. All he can really hope for is some potential damage to lock them down onto the site. They're getting up close, though. I don't like that at all. One bullet. I mean, they've run out of time. He shouldn't have it at all. Yep, they're just ticking away. But they're going to die, I do Ooh. believe. Okay, never mind. They get out. Clean enough. 
And they should be oh, ten side. not destroyed by the Radiant Knight. Okay, now he puts a bit of a stick in his uh, golden run. He needs three kills to hit 100 total, and he hasn't gotten there yet. Texter, oh, so close. There's but one. Ronsky, ready for it, exactly right. Could this be the opportunity where he finds it back? Could this be... A little bit of a re-entrance into this one. Ooh. Tensai doing some damage. Yo. People trying to there lock it, it down. Ronsky finds another. Oh. Quite, can't quite find it. Now it's into a very tough position. Tuck's going to be taken down. and It's going to be the Seekers to go through as well. Clutchy wants the Odin. Now it's all onto Disco and Autumn. Two of the sharper ones on this roster. Autumn begged up as one of the best players in our region as well. He's yeah, got yeah. the Operator. That's it. The problem is that Operator, so the Blades to come on out. Autumn and Disco, these are the two that have played together for quite a little bit of time now. Could have seen the dash from Autumn on top of the uh, the boat house, but that would have been very, very ambitious. The shed, rather. Down towards the Operator. Suppression out. Two more seconds, waiting for an opportunity. Oh, Finds Disco. Now it's on to Disco to come on through. The flash doesn't really work out. I think it was a team flash onto Tensai. These Blades, he only needs one to connect onto Tensai to eliminate him. And to Clutchy. No right clicks. No, not today, as Clutchy will find him. I'm going to destroy it, but... Now moving in, Disco spots one, a little bit late on the shot, but Tux is there ready. Clutchy goes down, can he light him up? It's at least two. Tensai does get the spike though, but he's all in his lonesome and has to overwhelm Texter. Texter trying oh, to lock not expecting him here. They have no idea. Oh, Goodbye, Tensai. Sicko one down, versus please. three. Well, with 15 seconds, he has to get the plant down as well, and all three players are here. Maybe not the plant, maybe just the kills. Here's the, cur here's the curveball to come out from Disco, rather. Five seconds to go, and Texter gives him the duel. But Texter does win it in the end. Or oh, I see the peek up from Autumn. I'm, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You've jinxed it. You have to curse it. <laughs> that looks still in position. Ronsky trying to get aggressive, moving in with the Seekers. And he's been able to pick up another one as well. Texter away onto the other side. It's going to be a tough one. Spike planted. Ronsky very, very keen. The flashpoint goes through and he clears. Texter is poised again. Ronsky certainly gives up the goat a little bit too much. And Clutchy, Ooh. what are you doing there, my friend? Do not give these guys opportunity because they will take it upon themselves to make something mm -hmm. happen. Nation puts the star up. Might be able to lock them away. It's just an overpulse, however. The fragment, that'll do enough. But Tux, he's a Chad. He walks on through. And Tensai looking for some form of a peak here. Just up close. Drops on down. They don't have the information yet. Recon bolt down underneath. Oh, the heaven play. That dart comes out and it's all the kills going to piece. It's quite a dart a little bit. The fragment will eliminate him now. It's going to be sicko beforehand. So first frag goes the way of the piece, boys. Lockdown still available for Tux, as I said before. And Ross gives the blades. Oh, no. Was that a I think it was, but now damage does come through. Sicko on a very good position. Now Tux moving in. Tux trying to get something done. He will line up at least one, but now it's a one versus one, and that is the lockdown that doesn't quite get the distance. Nation definitely ready for something, but with less for him, but you wouldn't expect them to both be here. Maple can't use his dart to gather that information. He'd be quite vulnerable. Chances are they swing at that point in time. And there is, there's the swing, there's the first, there's the second, and go. This is going to go over towards the door entry. I like that as well. Clutchy forced to throw in the flash into his own demise. That is brilliant execution from a Disco. I mean, only the assistance variety for him, but the plants start to be established for order. Player advantage, looking for the eventual post plant. Tensai is so far away as well. Look at that shock dart up in towards heaven. Turret will be destroyed. Ronsky does get forced away, having to utilize that tailwind. Now the fragment onto the other side should force a little bit of positional back, but it's not deep enough. Ronsky, excellent shot, but Disco will punish. And he's found two, all on the 10th side. And he's going to go down. Four. There's Gravwell, buys a bunch of time for the side of peace. And I mean, immediately Ronsky felt pressure, right? He's dropped his util. And now Clutchy has fallen over. So has Ronsky. And oh, this is looking like a shambled bonus. Nation at least good for two. So equalizes to a degree the run it back. There is a Vandal on the site available for the big man as well. As he does pick back up. Darts go over. Sicko. Just a bit of a spray through. Nothing though can be found. And that's the Cosmic Divide. Even just for good measure. They're trying to make it a little bit too hard for anyone to get back into this round. And why wouldn't you, right? You want to try and uh, take your opponent's first gun round off them in your little lesser weaponry bonus rounds. So... Order investing everything that they can. It's weird to see that Texas has been able to use the Cosmic Divide in the uh, in the third round after that's a seven ultimate orb, but hey, it works wonder. In a grand final, 
it's just incredible how good he is at this game. IG yelling, no doubt. Oh, that's dirty to come out from Sicko. There's only a couple of guns that can shoot through that wall. The Guardian do be one of them. A little bit unfortunate there. Both Jets down for the count at the moment. A little bit of the regrow from Kochi as well onto Tensai. Now that is just absolutely null and void from the Shock Dart that goes out. Kerbal misses the mark as Nation finds the frag on a Disco in order. I mean, they're a player down. They're uh -oh. a second player down. Third player down. Every player that off the Trailblazer and actually will tag up Maple. It's going to make it a little bit tough now, but already the positions are five on five. They're up close and personal, and this could mean everything this far. Oh. Bit. The blades. Oh, Ronsky! I thought the right click missed completely, but it got the deeper player in Texas. That is absolutely ridiculous. Now they're looking to get onto what the defuse, the once fire it. burst goes oh. in. Yep, that's a right click that ain't gonna be working. But the first is gone, and the first is null and void in the chase. Tux! Oh. Okay. I don't know if he had enough bullets. I think he was trying to reload. It's exactly where Order have absolutely skyrocketed to. They've flown in toward the site. The run it back, it does expire. And with only a little bit of positioning and info gathering, the Clutchy does manage to shut that down. And with the Seekers coming on through, the Jellyfish will be shut out. And now it is the time for the big old retake to come through from peace. I'll try to get that information, but the time is ticking. Clutchy trying to swing around. Tux will be able to pick him up. The right click does miss. Tux oh, the turret! Gets the turret job and order to swing on in. Unless Sicko pulls off something mammoth, which I just think it's a little bit too far out of his resume. He will be going down here to Maple and Dion. Do you know what that is, mate? As well. The team that I guess at the start of the year, everybody propped up to gather it, right? Un undoubtedly. Did they? He might have just lost them the game right here. Oh. Good day, sir. Ronski doing Ronski things. A hundred frags. And you give up the first pick in the final potential round. Clutchy, good for the trade. Tux does get it back, however. Now Disco up close. I think, Dion, this might be the final hype part of the uh, entire competition. So take it away, my birthday boyfriend. <laughs> Call me on guard with that one. Not going to lie. Speaking of, Tensai does get done in by the lockdown. So he is absolutely dead to rights. And you can see that Disco is heading for the hills after a little bit of uh, that tag. All the stars to come down from Nation, however. And we have seen... Uh, Pretty number of rounds where Nation and Tico have had to try and clutch something out together. The turret to be destroyed and the patience from Order is paramount right now. The clearing of the corners, it doesn't work out for Nation. And now it's all on to Sicko to see what he can do in this one versus three. Stuck at the stairs and whilst he does manage to dispatch of Disco. He's got time. He does have time and he's locking down Order. And they line up and no Tux gets it. 